it's Sarah with Raining Hot Coupons and today I'm going to do a video showing you guys my Walgreens transactions, um, how I put my deal together and showing you a little bit of me at the register. So um, first of all I just want to explain what I did and why you need to do um, separate transactions sometimes, how it can benefit you. So first of all this is the, um, the little gum uh, floss things that were two dollars. So they were priced at two dollars, but then you get back a two dollar register reward, which actually makes them free. So um, I actually use all my register rewards from these, and you'll see why in a minute. But this is what they look like. Um, this is a four dollar one, but um, let's just say this is a two dollar one that prints out. So I pay two dollars out of pocket, and then this two dollar register reward is going to print. So now I have to do a separate transaction so that I can use this. So then I'm going to go into transaction number two, which is for these razors. And these cost $3.99. They're on sale for $3.99 this week. And then I have a $2 off coupon. So I use my $2 off coupon, and then I'm left with $1.99. So um, if you remember from the previous transaction, I have a $2 register reward. So now I'm going to use that $2 register reward on this item, which would make it free. Since I'm left with $1.99 after I use my $2 off coupon, then I have to get an item because we're one penny short of being able to use this $2. So um, I get my I get another item. In the Walgreens ad, the comment is two for a dollar, but um, a lot of you don't know that you don't really have to get two. You can just use get one item and then have them scan the, the Walgreens ad and it will bring the price down to 50 cents. So then I use this um, to make this go to make this up to a dollar, and basically all I'm paying for is the comment. These razors end up being free, and I'm paying fifty cents for the comment. So then, um, at the end, what's going to happen is now this item is going to trigger a register reward of three dollars. So then, let's say that this is the three dollar register reward. I'm going to go on to my next transaction. So now I'm in transa transaction number three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two deodorants, okay? Now these are on sale right now for $2.99 each. And then I have a buy one, get one free coupon that came in today's paper. So basically it's going to take off one of the um, deodorants, my coupon is, and then I'm going to be left paying for one, which is $2.99. But then if you remember from the previous transaction, the razors... I actually got a $3 register reward. So I'm going to use that $3 register reward to pay for these this deodorant, which is $2.99. So that makes you break even and you're, it's free. So it makes these two free. But remember, you have to, you're one penny off from being able to use your reward, so get like a little item or something that's cheap. Um, then what you do is you're going to, you could be done right there. Or um, what I like to do, and this is what I did to save more money and to pay less money out of pocket, I took, um, oh, by the way, these print out, this will print out a $2 register reward, this deal right here. So now I'm left with $2 in register rewards. Now what I like to do is I like to start from the beginning all over again and um, do these transactions again, depending on how many newspapers you have. So uh, for this week, I bought five newspapers. So I can do this round, all three of these transactions, I can do them five times because I have enough um, coupons to go to, you know, do five different sets. So the $2 register reward from this transaction, now I'm going to go to my fourth transaction, which is going to be what I did from the beginning. I'm going to get the gum flossers, which are $2. Um, I'm going to use my $2 register reward. This is four, but let's just pretend it's two. I'm going to use my $2 register reward that I received from the previous transaction for the deodorants, and I'm going to use that on these. So it's going to make these free, and then another $2 re register reward will print again for these. Then again, I'm going to take that and go to the next deal, um, the next transaction. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of me at the register in Walgreens. And um, the cashier was really, really good. She was really sweet, and she, she knew what she was doing, and she was great. So it really helped. And you'll get to see a little bit of that in the video and see that, um, you know, it does, 
it does take a little bit of time. You could be done, you know, if you wanted to just do all of these in one transaction, that would be fine. You could do that. The only thing is you're going to have a lot more out of pocket and then you're going to have, you're going to end up with um, more to register rewards, which is fine because you can always next week when you do your shopping again with the new ad, you can always use your register rewards the following week. So stay tuned for the next part. You have olives there. shampoos are actually they actually have a try me free freebate on them which is um, so basically you're getting it for free they want you to try it out and see if you like it the price printed out at the register and when I purchased one a four dollar register reward printed out and that's what this is so this made them only a dollar ninety nine and but then I get the um, rebate back in the mail so basically I'm making four dollars on them it's up like oh god yeah the whole yeah 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 <laughs> and then show them your free coupon. Let me That's see your free coupon for the shampoo. Well, should I buy? I can, I can use this now on my nails. No, because you have to get. It has to be four dollars total. Is your nail polish four dollars? Yeah, two dollars a piece. Oh, then get two of them. <laughs> okay. And then I get this back in the mail. Yep. <laughs> I made money. <laughs> 